Good evening. I'm sitting here this evening trying to work on a tray with the lemons and I thought I would try to show you a little design that I have pieced together so you can see how I piece them and how I put them on there. I had a doctor's appointment today so I've been out all afternoon. I came home, put my pajamas on, sit down here to work a little bit so I'm using overhead camera this time to see how this works. But let's get started a little bit. If you have any questions, you can ask me later and uh, I'll try to answer them. When you see the video, you can ask questions back. I have printed my designs on individual sheets. These are the rice paper that I print. This is my lemons. I print everything on separate sheets to get started with. See, I've printed bows, I've printed uh, different types of just different things on, and I've cut everything out. And this tray came to me, a friend picked it up at a yard sale for me, so it's a beautiful square tray. And I've had a few people ask me for red in the bows instead of the black and white. So this one, I'm gonna mix the lemons and the bees a little bit. So I've pieced it on. You really can't tell that it's pieced on there, but each one of these, each little thing here is an individual piece that I have put on. I want to get my placement of where I'm going to put everything before I start gluing it down. So I'm just about ready to start that. Like I said, I'm gonna mix some bees in with this design a little bit. So now I don't wanna move my design a whole lot. So I have to start with the piece that has to be the piece that's farthest away from me that's on the, on the tray first is the one I have to glue down first. And I'm not gonna overcoat them, put the glue on the outside of them until the design's all on there. So I'm gonna get started here and see how we can do this. I have my Mod Podge in a little cup. I've showed you this before. I always put my Mod Podge out in a cup and I put a little water into it so it's thin because it takes very little glue to get these things down on here. So I'm gonna start right here at this edge and I'm gonna hold part of this down with my left hand and decide which piece. So this little flower here has to go down first. This is my first piece. So I'm gonna remove it. Of course, my design will turn and change just a little bit as I go along because there's no way I can keep it exact. I'm putting just a little bit of Mod Podge down on that tray. Then I'm gonna lay that little flower down there Take my fingers, press it down. And this way I'm gonna overlap. A lot of things are gonna be overlapped and done. Okay, the next piece going on here would be this lemon. Now this lemon design is real long going around through here, so I'm gonna do it a section at a time. I lift up my bow, cause it's gonna go on top of my lemons. So I'm gonna raise the lemon up here, and this will put a little bit of glue down on here Picking up a little bit of my glue over here. Going to put it down just a small amount. I'm going to move that little bee down there a little bit so it won't get in my way. And I'm going to put just enough Mod Podge, put Mod Podge, putting it over top of that. I, it's hard to say that word. I'm just going to call it glue. Okay. Sometimes the glue has little lumps in it, so you have to get those off so you don't have a lump in whatever you're doing. So that's what I'm trying to do there. I take me another brush and kind of sweep it to the side. Okay, so I've got a little bit of glue on here. I'm gonna lay this back over here. Take my finger, my thumb, put that right over top of that flower. Bring a little bit over here so that it glues that lemon. Glues that lemon right down on my paper, on my tray. Okay, now I've got that little section on and I'm gonna have to go up here. This, this lemon goes all the way down to this end. So I'm gonna to have to lift it gently, kind of fold it back a little bit, and glue this leaf, this flower in here. So, I'm, so I don't lose the placement of my flower. I'm going to glue one end first, lay it down there, press it with my finger, smooth it out. Then I'll sneak a little bit of glue in this end and put it on the end so that that flower's glued down. Now I'm ready to put another section of this lemon. This lemon piece I cut out is my biggest piece. I'm gonna go right down through here. I'm not gonna to try to go all the way to the end at one time. So I'm gonna go right down through here and take this one section at a time, smoothing it out as I go. I'm just using my fingers. 
You could use a piece of crumpled up saran wrap, which is what I keep. This is just cheap Walmart saran wrap because it's their brand and it's much better than having true saran wrap. Okay, now I've got to go right on down here a little bit. Glue a little bit more section of it down. I can move that little fella over. I don't want to get down there in my flowers yet. So I'm be sure you work your wrinkles out as you go. Work all your wrinkles as you go around, okay? So you don't have no wrinkles in your design when you go back to put your, and you may have to go back around the edges, sneak a little glue in under them edges, some of those leaves and flowers if they don't glue down good. Just take your brush, and usually you just have enough on your brush just left over to sneak that right up under there and glue those down. Now I'm down here to where I'm gonna do this flower. So now I'm gonna pick up that flower, put a little on that end to glue him down. I've cut every piece out individually. Glue him down on the tray. It's a beautiful tray, it had wooden handles, so I just decided to leave them in the way they are. So when I painted it, when I spray painted it, I taped those uh, taped those off with the painter's tape so that I would not get the uh, spray paint on those handles. That's what you do if you want to cover up something and leave part of it as a natural color, then just tape it off with some painter's tape and then do your spray painting, okay? Now, this little guy right here, I'm going to lay him down right there, put a little bit of glue, and stick him right on there. The same way with this little bee. I've got my bow. Put my bow up here, and it's going to go right across the lemons and all. My bow is. So I'm going to hold him in place, glue him one side at a time. I'm doing a red gingham bow on this one. Fold it down there. It's going over the flowers a little bit, over the lemons, and back over on this side of the lemons. I'm just stacking pieces as I go. Take my fingers again and smooth that out, a little bit under that edge. You wanna make sure everything's glued down good before we come back and put the final coat on. Now I'm gonna put this bee in here like he's right on these flowers. So I'm gonna lay him there and put him right there. Okay. Okay, that's pretty well got that side all done. That side of the tray is, is all glued down. Now I'm gonna flip my tray around. Flip it around so that I'm working, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna work from right to left. Okay, now. Got to get my position here and figure out again. I'm going to take my bow off, but i got to figure out again what's down here. has to go on the tray first, and again, it's a flower. Take that off. Holding my design in place as I go along. Then I'm going to pick that up, place that flower in there, smooth it out a little bit, and then I'm ready to put a little more glue down to get those lemons started in place. There's a little bit of my color picking up. Even though I'm using a laser printer, I've been having some trouble with some things, the color coming up on some pieces. So I don't know if it's the ink I bought this time, the printer ink, or what's causing it, but I may have to start putting a little bit of that hairspray on them. Okay, okay now I'm up here. My bee goes down there, and we'll put him out of the way, and this, this I can get out of the way. And I've got to raise, got to raise this lemon up here. Raise him up like so, because I've got to put this flower. I'm going to fold him back a little bit and put this flower on here, right up in the corner. Okay. Lay it down, push it down. I'm using such a small amount of glue to glue those down, you cannot imagine how little it takes to get those things on there. Now I'm ready to, I have a gallon, I buy my Mod Podge by the gallon, and I'm two years on that one gallon. So 
so you can see how much I use. And I'm still got probably a third of the gallon left. I order it from Amazon by the gallon. It's a lot cheaper that way. Okay. I've got all that smoothed out and on there. I need to put a little glue right under that edge. Okay, now I'm going on down. Now I've got a flower there. See, I have one here. So I need to put it in. I believe I had it right about right here. Not sure, but it'll do. Your design will change a little bit as you're going along because of your work, and then you have to move some things out of your way to get them down there. Then this one's going to go down here a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Do this one right on here. And then I'm ready to put my lemons. Put the rest of my lemons down through there. It's rain today like pouring water out of a bucket here today. I drove over to the other side of Knoxville for a doctor's appointment and I think it was the worst storm I drove back in in a long, many, many years that I had had to drive in. Traffic was terrible and everybody had their flashers on because the interstate was awful. Okay. Still working around there. Now if you're working with napkins, working with this printed stuff is a whole lot easier than working with napkins and, and especially doing this. If you're working with some of the other papers that you buy, which are a little thicker. And uh, Barbara, I'm sure you know her that's on our page. She does a lot with the papers and prints. I think they'd be a little thicker to where you could do this, uh, more of this stacking with them than you can with the napkins. If you're doing napkins, you have to be real careful with them that you position them in and don't rip and tear them as you go. Now I'm gonna put this little bee this little sign has a B on it. I'm gonna put him right there. And I gotta come back up here and put my bow in. I'm just gonna lay my bow right there. I don't remember where I had him, but that's close enough. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. We spent yesterday, we've had a really cold, kind of cool spring to get started, but we got a little bit of garden out, started it this week. Got flowers planted yesterday. We're trying to put an above ground pool in for the girls, so we're waiting on the contractors to come and do that. I hope they get it done this month. Okay, I'm just going in and sneaking around in spots where I think I need to glue it down a little better. Okay. And I'm going to take my saran wrap and go over this a little bit. That bee's not glued down yet. So I'm going to go in here and just take my saran wrap and blot it so that it get all the bubbles out. Tray lemons are very, very popular right now. I've been selling them really, really well, and I've just gotten some great pieces from Hobby Lobby to put them on, trays especially. Okay, now I'm going to put this in here, and I, had, I left this center in here, which is white, so I wouldn't put that over top of a flower or something. i got to put it where that white part will be white on white, and it won't mess up my design. So I'm going to put it just about right here. Because I didn't want to take the time to go in there and cut all that little circle out there. You could if you really wanted to, if it was necessary. But I don't feel the need, so I'm not going to do it. Because that's white on white, and it'll be fine like it is when you get it all down and covered. Okay, I think at one piece that the B is the only thing I got left on this one. And I think I'll put him up here. Let's see where I'm going to put him. 
thought I had three B's. Maybe I don't. Yeah, well, here's another one. That went on my paper. So I'm going to turn him and put him right here in this little flower. Put him right there. And I'll put the other one over here with this flower. I could put him right here. Let's see, I'll put him right here. Your design, you decide. So I'll put him right there and overlap him just a tad on that flower like he's getting ready to get in there. Okay, I've got it all positioned in place. See? But now due to the fact that some of it has been bleeding on me a little bit, I'm not going to coat the overcoat today. I'm going to let it set till tomorrow and go back in and put my overcoat on and hope because those red bows I actually printed today and after they cure a while then sometimes they don't they don't bleed on me but if they do I'll just deal with it but I think I've got that all the way I will go back in now I don't shade around this kind of piece I'm going to paint the edge all this edge around here I'm going to paint it yellow a kind of a shade of yellow. Uh, right now I'm using, uh, Americana has a beautiful yellow that is uh, butter. Let's see, what was that? I forgot what it was now. Uh, but I've not been able to get it. A banana cream. But for some reason, Hobby Lobby's not had it. I've got it once or twice and then they've not had it anymore. But it's a beautiful yellow. So lately I've been using uh, Ceram Coats, uh, Crocus crocus yellow which is a good yellow too it's kind of like a you know a buttery shade a dark butter shade but I will paint this yellow and then I will probably put some uh, polka dots of black on it some little dots of black on it after I get the yellow on and I'll show you what I'll go back in and put a little uh, this is a little like a tag hanging on something so I'll draw me a little black like it's got a piece of string on it I'll put a piece of string on that and draw it in there on those and this one over here. So I'll show you that. Just watch for that when we uh, when I show it on the on the page. Just watch for that to see how it's done. I'll finish it tomorrow, and then after I get it finished and varnished, I'll come back in and show you show you how it's uh, how it finishes up. This one, this one is one that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is a beautiful long tray, which is really pretty. And I, it wasn't very much money. I don't know if it's in the spring section or the others. But this is one I've got laid out. See, I've got all these pieces laid out on this one. And I've done it the same way. I'll do it tomorrow and get it done too. But it's one piece at a time. And you can piece these pieces like this with anything that you've got. I've done strawberries and I've done lemons and... A lot of times I do a lot of other things too with that, so don't don't be afraid to try it. You can always, if you mess it up, you can start over. I did this little boy today. He's 4th of July. Lady bought one, and then she came back and wanted another one and a couple of other bottles, so I'm trying to get that order finished to get out to her. But I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you have a good evening. Talk to you later.